Hey guys, Jose here again, and this is Pablo with me. Hello. So today we are at Clark International Speedway again for, and it's September 25. 25. It's a Wednesday. It's our first practice day. Well, not the official practice day. There are a lot of other cars here, but today we're trying out new tires on the car. That's the main difference for this practice session for leg. Like, they upgraded us from the GTX Pro. Yeah, GTX Pro. So now we're the SX2. Yeah, we're running SX2s now. Yeah. Wait, this one has a better view. GT Radial SX2. So that's the main difference from the previous leg is that we have grippier tires now. I was the first one to try them this morning because I was the earliest one here. And immediately I felt a big difference compared to the tire that we were using before. I feel around the corners there's more confidence. I can brake later. I get the attack. The corners. Let's hope that everybody else can do the same. We're looking at the amount of variance of around two seconds to one and a half seconds faster compared to the old tires. So let's hope that we can all achieve that. So yeah, that's that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing. Of course, we're running our own cars. Pablo has his car over there. Over there. Being, I don't know. It broke. Did I break it? I don't know. <laughs> of course, Pablo broke something, as usual. And yeah, so now if you're wondering why this video is coming out on leg two, it's because, well, I didn't record enough footage in the first video. Yes, no, I did have. During footage. leg one, we were just trying to figure out how the weekend would go. So now that we have a better idea, since it's really just me and Joe's, we're able to really make more content. The last time we were just trying to survive. Yeah, and I promise I shot footage, which you'll see right now. But yeah, apparently I only have 12 clips. I mean, it's hard to be the racer, the driver, and yeah, and meet the rest of the team. Meet Lexi, it's Coach G. <laughs> yeah, and meet Ref. Yeah, superstar Ref. So yeah, we're going to be heading out for practice too. And hopefully I'll be able to film something. Maybe put this camera inside. I don't know. Let's see. Anyway, yeah, see you in a bit. As you can see from the GoPro footage, I didn't exactly do my best during the first outing during Wednesday. The tires were brand new, meaning they still had to be scrubbed in. And for those of you who aren't familiar, you can think of it like buying a brand new pair of shoes. At first, they don't really fit you that well, and the back part might hurt your feet after a while. But after using them for some time, they do fit and feel a lot better. And it's the same thing with tires. You have to scrub them in in order to get the best grip possible. So, since they were brand new, I was a bit more cautious during my first outlap and first two hot laps. I didn't want to bin the car even before the race or even official practice started. Not to mention, they just adjusted the damping settings in our cars, and I was trying to see how the car handled at first with the new settings before trying to go faster. In fact, if you watch this entire lap, you can tell I was taking it easy. I wasn't braking late, nor was I being too aggressive with the car. While we don't have GoPro footage inside Pablo's car, he did tell me that he was doing a similar thing just to try out the new tires and the settings and from there tell the mechanics how it felt and adjust the settings once more. For almost the entirety of our practice sessions on Wednesday though, Pablo and I stuck close to each other or at least we tried to. It was the same with other drivers whether they were in front of me or behind me. As much as we were racing individually, we were all a team after all. And for most of us, this is our first ever circuit track experience on a professional level. So, one of the best ways to learn is to watch another driver's line and, for me, see if you can match it or improve on it and try to go faster. I mean, that's why we're here after all. We want to be better drivers and faster racers. Hopefully, we'll be able to match the times of those in the promotional class. Ah, 
Okay, so it's day two here in Clark. It's September 26th and it's our official first practice day for the VS Cup. Uh, got a good nice dress. I didn't get the update anymore because we were really tired yesterday. But yeah, today we gotta put in a lot more work because official practice, then tomorrow's qualifying. And then it's the first race. And then on Saturday, that's where everything happens. So yeah, there's still a lot of work to be done. We still need more experience and practice with, well, SX2 tires and pretty much it. We have a long day ahead of us and it's just, and we gotta head to the track. So let's go. Here's the thing about racing. What you guys see live on race day or during the live stream is an accumulation of everything we've done so far. The countless hours of practice sessions, sit downs with the coaches and more. Just like athletes, we spend a lot of time practicing and improving our skills and racecraft. With the new SX2 tires, we definitely put in more practice time as compared to before. We played around with the settings of the car and even the tire pressures to see what suited our driving style the best. That's why in between sessions, most of us were spending time with the coaches from Blossom Racing in order for us to have faster lap times. And we're very thankful for them for that. Not to mention this second leg, everyone here in the novice class was stepping up their game. Everyone was a lot more competitive and there was no space for complacency for me or Pablo. <laughs> No way! That's so cool. Well, I demonstrated four, 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 start to start the race. And I was the one who got set out. So, Bob's, you're good. What are we doing now? We're waiting for our first afternoon session for practice. I think today everybody seems a little happier because my dad had the setups, the tires, uh, working together with the car. So, all the drivers will be more confident now. So, it's just about finding the right setup for the conditions. So, I, I specifically have a setup for colder conditions. And yeah, next right. session, I'm gonna try out my set up for uh, other so, uh, You know, it's about finding all those things, putting it all together. Because then tomorrow is when qualifying starts and the first uh, sprint race. And that's when things become really safe. It's just painful. You ready? Always ready. <laughs> Born ready. Guys, you have Lexi. I did your exit. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so quick tour. This is my car. Well, the windows are down, but as you can see, Yugatech. Yeah. And then, if you're looking out for me, car number eight with the teal side mirrors. Now I'm sure some of you are curious what the engine is running. And here we have Pablo's car. And it's stuck! Yeah, just coilovers. Nothing more, just wheels. But yeah, we're gonna head out for practice too in a bit, so yeah. We'll update you guys and show you guys our time. Yeah, we have an official time now. And there is also... But yeah, I'll show you guys our official times in a bit. And there's also a website where you can track our times. So if you want to know more, you can just keep on following with the website. I'll send the, the links down below if you want to check out the times of people. And also you can check out Pablo. <laughs> yes. Coughing. Sorry. The man's dying. <laughs> I think I actually have run out of things to say. At this point, we're really just trying to drive by feel now. We're just trying to put everything together. So hopefully, the results. But then, no matter how many times you practice, how many times you set up the car, how many times you think you perfected it, when it's race day and you're racing with other people, it completely changes. So yeah, let's just hope we can all get through it in one piece and 
get the best results we can for for ourselves and for the team. I mean, technically, the end of the day, we're all teammates. So, are we? Yes, we are all teammates, Joe. There is no I in team, but there is an A in team. It's gonna go up your ass.